and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. Please remember that I do sell screen printing equipment and supplies online at my e-commerce store at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. So if you need screen printing equipment or supplies, please check out my offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. Okay, so today I just wanted to do a quick tips video and this was a question that I get asked a lot and recently somebody asked me through an email about yellow bug lights. Can I use a yellow bug light as a safe light, you know, for darkroom purposes, for coating screens and working with emulsion in the darkroom conditions? So the question is, you know, would a bug light or an insect light work? And, you know, at first I, I, I admit my thinking on this was kind of a little confused because as a kid I remember the bug zappers that had a bluish white or a purplish kind of uh, light that would attract the bugs and then, you know, zap them and kill them, right? But the bug light itself, the little yellow bulbs, are actually based on the opposite technology or science, so to speak, in that, uh, you know, some insects are repelled by light and some insects are attracted to light. So what does this mean about the yellow bug light? Okay, so there is a lot of science or research behind, you know, what kind of light attracts insects and why does light attract insects and the honest answer is is that nobody really knows why a moth will fly straight into a candle flame and kill itself right um, and we know that insects are attracted to a variety of light including light in the UV wavelength which is what you would want for your exposure unit, right? Because emulsion is only sensitive to UV light. So that means bug lights would really have very low UV. They should have very low wattage, be, you know, really not intense at all or less intense because the idea is they're trying, the bug light is trying to reduce light pollution, which would attract insects. Okay, so the answer to the question is technically, yes, you can use a bug light, a yellow bug light, to, as a safe light. That should be fine, but you don't necessarily need one. And I know the pricing ranges wildly from, you know, very inexpensive bug lights to very expensive bug lights. Okay, but the truth of the matter is, is a yellow party bulb or a red party bulb from Home Depot will do the same thing. So it just depends. If you can find a yellow bug light for $1.99 and this one costs three or four dollars at Home Depot or whatever, then you can use the $1.99 bug light. Okay, so the answer to the question again is yes you can use a yellow bug light but it is not necessary and it is not a special bulb by any means in that it's you know much different than this you could use this as a bug light most likely um, especially if it were a lower wattage okay so you know that's that's where where it's at okay so yeah use a bug light or a colored party bulb same difference Emulsion is blind to yellow or red light, and as long as the light doesn't have any UV light, it's fine. That's all I have for you today. I hope that answers your question because I know this is a very common question that people ask every day when they're starting out in screen printing. So I hope this video clears that up definitively for you all. And thanks a lot for watching my videos. Remember that if you like what you see, please rate thumbs up, comment when you can, and most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really helps out a lot and keeps me motivated, keeps me driving and pushing to do more videos every month. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel today. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>